What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today, we're going to show you just how easy it is to grant access to a SharePoint site. It takes like two clicks. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard. All right, let's get that timer rolling. I know I said like two clicks, but it's probably more like four or five, but it's super fast. Okay, so you want to grant access. You're going to go to site access. Click on that bad boy. Type in the name of the person you want to grant access to. Click their name. Decide on what level you want to give them. You know, full control, edit or read. Whether you want to send an email or not. And then just click on share and boom, you did it. You did it. It's that simple. So we'll slow down and review it although you i know you got it but we will just decompose it and see what we can add to this here situation okay basically this site access option is allowing you to take a huge shortcut so basically you're able to type in a person's name and then instantly add them to the visitor group the member group or the owner group so you just click on site access, you're going to type in the name of the person, you're going to grab that, and then automatically it's going to take them to the read level, which it doesn't say it's going to put them in visitors, but it's going to put them in visitors. Um, or if you choose full control, it's going to put them in the owner group. If you choose edit, it's going to put them in the member group. You can decide whether or not you want to send an email. I, for whatever reason, do not enjoy having an email go out because usually the person knows um, that they're getting this access. But if you wanted to send out an email, you could do it. I believe one of the reasons that turned me off for uh, sending this email is I feel like I, as the person granting the access, also gets that email, and that's just annoying. So uh, there needs to be another button that says don't send me a copy of the email. All right, uh, I digress. And so we'll go no email, and there you go. So now Steve Smith's going to have member access and will be in the member group. And all you got to do is just click on share. And then if you want to verify that they got added to the proper group, you can go to site permissions, go to advanced, go to the oh, you didn't have to go that far. Didn't even have to do that, actually. But now, now that we're here, we're just going to do it, and I'll show the other way as well so there you go is in there but there's a way faster way to do that so please forgive me you just go back to site access and then you can take a peek and then boom there you go that's it easy as one two three hope this has been helpful please like share subscribe bell all that happy stuff without your support this channel does not exist so thank you for all you do and until next time remember SharePoint rocks, and so do you. Take it easy, y'all. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard.